the recently concluded COP29 was the first time that a conference of party presidency formally recognized the role of digitalization in tackling climate change through the declaration on green digital action. Can you explain what this declaration is, what it includes, and how can it contribute to addressing key climate challenges? Uh, what I feel, it says just two things, and it's very important, both of these two things. One is using technology, while using technology, please don't add to global warming. In This is the first principle. Don't add to global warming, Mr. Technology. And number two, it says, please use your technology to help uh, reduce global warming that's happening because of others. So these are two main pivots under which this long declaration comes in. Uh, the first point is that while doing, trying to help, you are also spoiling the environment. The case in point, of course, we will come to that later if uh, required. This artificial intelligence that is, uh, you know, sweeping us all over, it's so, so energy intensive that in trying to solve other problems, it's creating a huge deal of problems. No wonder, therefore, the Microsoft, the AI division, is thinking of buying a whole nuclear plant in the Three Mile Island. It's a very, very good way because nuclear energy does not produce global warming or climate problem. So this is just to show in, in my own new town, Kolkata, smart city, where I was involved more than 14 years, we built this data center uh, tech hub, and we had to build 33 kV, 220 kV substations that can supply to whole cities. So it's very energy intensive, and the declaration says that we should not uh, do this. Uh, and of course, uh, applications of technology in solving uh, climate problems, in helping others to meet these things, is also what is uh, what is called for in its various assets. Uh, 